I was redesigning a site for a client not that long ago and I got to the blog post template. Now it's a pretty typical layout here. We have the title at the top with the author information. Underneath that is a featured image and then all the content from the blog post. But as I started going through some of the blog posts on their website, I realized that quite a few of them actually featured a video as the main content. So I wanted to mock up what that would look like, so I kept the same layout here, and we put the video right underneath the featured image. Now, I wasn't really happy with this look, the featured image with the video right here, it kind of feels like too much for this space. Now we could have gone back and reset up all the blog posts to maybe have a couple paragraphs before the video shows up, but in talking with the client, he wanted to keep the video as high up on the page as possible, as that's really the focus of these posts that have videos. So after playing around with it a bit, what I decided I wanted to do was just replace the featured image with the video on any post that was a video post, for lack of a better term. But I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to replace the featured image with a video. Of course, all these posts need a featured image, even if they're gonna have a video, because on the blog page, they're gonna see these blog cards with all the featured images across them. So my first thought was to use a custom taxonomy that would allow the author to be able to check a box if they were using a video in their post. We could then use that taxonomy to show one of two different templates. The template with the video would replace the featured image with the video, and the template without the video would just have the featured image but that's an extra step for the user and an extra template for me to maintain. What I ended up coming up with is actually quite a bit simpler and it's really easy to do using a combination of advanced custom fields and block visibility. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a more dynamic blog post template. All the user has to do is add a video and the template will take care of everything, no extra steps required and no extra templates to keep up with. If that sounds interesting to you, then stick around and let's get started. So I've put together a quick little demo site here and I've just put two blog posts in here. So again, we're using a pretty simple template. We have some of the meta information at the top, a title, the date, the featured image, and then all the post content. Now this is the exact same template for the other blog post, so we just have one template to use. Now the first thing we need to do is go back into the back end and install advanced custom fields. So I'm gonna go in here and to add a plugin. We're gonna search for ACF for advanced custom fields and it should be the first result right here. So we'll go ahead and install that and activate it. And now we have this ACF menu over here on the left hand side and we'll go into field groups and we're gonna go ahead and add a new field group. Now I'm just gonna call this post since we're gonna be attaching this field group to our posts. The one field we need in this is just an O embed file. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select O embed as the field type. And in here we'll type video embed. Now we wanna take note of this field name here because we're gonna to need to add this into our template. So let's just remember that it's video underscore embed. Now I'm gonna change this embed size here to a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. My template isn't that wide and I just wanna make sure that it will make this embed take up the, all the available space inside my template. Now down here in the location rules, it's already set up to be for post type is equal to post. So that's exactly what we want since we're dealing with our blog posts in this case. So I'll go ahead and save the changes here. And now if we go into either of these posts that I've already set up and hit edit, we'll see just underneath all the post content, we now have this custom field for video embed. I have a YouTube video URL copied to my clipboard, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that in here, and you'll see on the back end, it's showing this video coming into our post now. So we'll go ahead and save this post, but when we view it on the front end, we'll see that there's no video added to this post. We need to go into our single post template and get this video added in there. So here under elements, under single post template, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this post. We could put this video above or below the featured image. It doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on the featured image, press enter so I can insert a new block, and I'm gonna search for a text block. Now we're using a text block here because we're gonna be using generate blocks dynamic tags, and we can do this pretty easily on the text block. So let's go ahead and open up those dynamic tags. And in here, we're gonna search for post meta since we're using our meta field for that O embed video embed. Now here under meta key, this is that key that we were needing to remember a minute ago, which was just video underscore embed. So I'll go ahead and type that in and press add. And now we can see this dynamic tag is gonna be added to our post. 
Now it's important that I have this checkbox here for required to render. This is gonna help us out because we don't want this video box to render if there's no video added to the post. We'll come back to that later and maybe it'll make a little bit more sense. So if you're lost right now, don't worry about it. We'll just go ahead and hit insert dynamic tag and we won't get a preview of the video here on the back end. We just see this post meta, but that's fine for now. I'm gonna go ahead and change this from a paragraph to a div, which is gonna help it fit in my template better and it's not really a paragraph. So I think a div makes more sense here. Now I also want to add a little bit of space. If we see back on this image, if I go into our settings here and into our spacing, we can see we've added 40 pixels of bottom margin to this featured image. I wanna do the same thing to our video embed so it's not cramped up against all of our content. So with that video embed selected, we'll just go back into spacing. And for bottom margin, I'm just gonna go ahead and add 40 pixels. We'll go ahead and save those changes. And if we go back to our post where we added the video, if I view this in a new tab here, we can see we have our featured image just like we had before, but now we also have the video that we embedded into this post. Now let's just double check on our other post here where we didn't add a video. We'll go ahead and view that. And we can see here we have the featured image, but there's no video loading underneath it because we didn't add a video to this post. And because we kept that checkbox checked when we added that dynamic tag, it's not rendering anything here on the front end. Now, of course, we haven't quite solved our problem because we're back to the issue of having the featured image and the video, and we want just one or the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave these two posts open for now, and we'll go back into the back end of our site. Under plugins, we'll hit add new. And this time we're gonna search for block visibility. I'll go ahead and search for that. This is something I keep on all of my sites because I end up finding so many use cases for it, and it really saves everything for us here today. So we'll go ahead and activate that, and we can see it's now activated inside of our install. And I'll go back to the back end where we have this single post template, but I'm gonna to need to refresh it so it can grab all that block visibility information. So now that we got that, we can scroll down here and start setting up some of these conditions. The video embed is already gonna show or hide based on whether or not we put a video URL in there. So Generate Blocks is already taking care of that part for us. Here, when we didn't have a video, it's not rendering a blank video or any kind of error. So we know that that's already taken care of for us. But we need to set up a system to hide this featured image if the video is present and block visibility will give us those options. So over here in our settings panel, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom where we see visibility and I'm gonna press this plus button. Here under integrations, I wanna select advanced custom fields, and now we can start setting this up. So here under this rule set, we have show the block if, and I wanna click on video embed. This is our only custom field, so it's the only thing showing up. If you had a lot of custom fields, you might see a bigger list here, but since we just have the one, we only have one to choose from. Next, we need to set the condition. So what I'm gonna do is say has no value. So what block visibility is gonna do here is only show this image if the video embed has no value. This means if we leave that video embed blank, then it will show the featured image. But if the video embed field does have a value, it's gonna hide this away. Now you can do this logic one of two ways. We did has no value. You could do has value and then hide when rules apply. It's either or, but this makes it a little bit easier so we don't have to do any of the extra checkboxes. So let's go ahead and save our template here. And now we'll go back to the front end of our site where we were seeing the featured image and the video. And if I refresh this, we should see the featured image go away. And now we just have a video on this post, which is exactly what we wanted and our conditions working. Now we need to make sure that the other one's still working where we don't have a video. So I'll go ahead and refresh this page and we can see we have our featured image here and no video, just like we need it. This one little condition makes it so much easier on the client. All they have to do is add a video link if they're gonna add a video to their post and the conditions are gonna take care of setting everything up on the front end automatically. If they don't want a video, they can just leave this field blank and they'll see the featured image instead of the video. Now, maybe you're not faced with a scenario where you need to show a video instead of an image, but this same basic principle can be applied to all kinds of different things on dynamic websites. When you're using ACF and block visibility in tandem, you can really create some dynamic layouts that save on labor and extra templates that you might not necessarily need. Hopefully you learned something in today's video. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you wanna make sure to catch the next one, hit subscribe and we'll see you then.